My name is Ab. Welcome to my clock repair and reveal channel. All right, I hope the noise isn't excessive. I did turn the air conditioner back on. It's a little one, so it makes, it makes some noise. Um, now, I've done unboxing videos before because you never know how somebody packed the clock and everyone packs the clock differently. So, I don't know if this is broken or not. We're gonna find out. I will say that another aspect of electric clocks that I like is the history, the history of them. Before I open that, I got this one the other day. It is a, uh, and it even says on there, Ingram Electric. I mean, this clock is so old, they even had to tell you it was an electric clock. <laughs> you couldn't guess from this cord, but, oh, and let me tell you about this cord. Look at this. Electrical tape, cracked and crumbling, more electrical tape. I think you can see the bare wire there. I'm not sure I, did. I took my glasses off. This is one of the worst cords I have ever seen. Oh, and this clock has a little key to it because I don't know if this was a little bank where you could put money. <laughs> what is that? Yes, it could be a bank. You could, uh, I don't know, you put silver dollar in there, you open it up, and uh, with what you've saved, you can buy another roll of electrical tape. <laughs> if it's a bank, you, you let's buy some more electrical tape. Oh dear. Yeah, you have to ask yourself, how many years does a person use this cord when it's in this condition? Wow, scary. Back to the unboxing. Okay, I'm gonna open it my standard way. It's a pretty thick box. This is actually pretty substantial. Let's pull this out. Nice. The um, zoom in a little here. Now this this could be a potentially controversial controversial clock. And the cord's actually not bad. I didn't know if it worked. And here's the controversial part. It says 39th Triennial Conclave Knights Templar of USA, San Francisco, California, July 1934, highest award, Seth Thomas. Seth Thomas actually imprinted all of this on their dial. And what's interesting about it, and this is of course the, uh, the I'm sure people have heard about the Freemasons, that they have uh, chapter meetings, businessmen used to belong to them, they're very popular in the 20s, 30s, 40s, what have you. Historically, it's very, very interesting to me anyhow. Many times uh, clockmakers would imprint, they would, have, they would have advertising clocks and they would imprint something here like uh, Howard Shoes or whatever and advertising clocks are worth more money than a regular clock. In other words, if I had this, if I had a clock like this, just says Seth Thomas, it's worth so much. The fact that you have one that has an advertising element, you just probably uh, three or four times more value in your clock now. That's just how it is. And this clock came from Iowa, so you even have a spider web from Iowa spiders. And they even have uh, electrical tape on the uh, 
connection here. So we got to figure out what's going on with it, but. And this little key here in the door. Well, if you notice on the front, there's a little there's a little hole here by the four, and I believe you put that in there, and that's what silences the chimes. So the clock, you know, the clock's waking me up. I'm going to have to unplug it. No, no, we'll just turn the chime off. I think that's what it's for. And the door here is actually pretty nice shape. And that's and that will give you some indication as to what the whole clock looked like. Because the back door, usually people aren't rubbing against it. And the sun doesn't hit it. But clocks, they people like to put them where the sun hits it and fades it. So... that's why I'm working on all these electric clocks because I want to get to the point where a beauty like this from 1934 is running and chiming again. I'm trying to get some experience going a roundabout way but fun in the meantime for me and also I have the mechanical version of this clock with the wind-up Westminster wind-up the exact same case but with a mechanical movement, not electrical. So that's one thing that the makers did back in the day was the same case, but they were able to put different dial and different movement inside. So by making one case good for two different clocks, they saved money. Some people wanted electric, some people want the wind-up. It's hard to appeal to both uh, types of customers because you had people wanting both. I mean, pendulum clocks started to go out the door from 1934 to 1940 with the introduction of electrics. They, they did start losing in popularity. But that's just a ni real nice example. Pretty good, pretty good condition, too. So I just wanted to share that. And then you also have this... Um, this little Ingram electric and these this is the size of the kind of the clocks that I'm working on now well I want to get to this one I'm, I'm kind of working backwards but there you go a beautiful cord okay that's it for today I plan to do more videos as time and heaven permits thank you for your patience I appreciate your comments I just want to give a warm welcome to all the new people. I hope everyone stays safe and I hope you and your families are well and we'll see you next time. All right, bye for now.